Good afternoon yeah. from Zachary Sweets. I just thought I'd just just show you because um, I get really fed up with this and it happens so much. And um, and can you see that the, the, the um, what I've just done on this job here is the actual uh, fire cement had all cracked and come away. And the and the reason why it all cracked and come away, and I come across this all the time. I've probably mentioned it in another video shortly that I've done earlier. Is people are putting this the cement on too thick? You, you don't have to put it on too, uh, thick. You don't, you don't. You can put it in nice and smooth like that, all the way around. Make sure you get it all the way around the back. Put your hand around the back, feel, feel it. Make sure it's all fine and everything, and then it's fine. And as you can see, look, if you do it slowly and, and you take your time, where's where's the cement marks on there? There's none. See, so basically, all you got to do is you just do it very very. Just, just a small amount, obviously enough to seal it so that you don't get any leaks. And as you can hear, I've got my spray with me. I'll just check it, make sure it's all right. Obviously, put paper behind where you're spraying, and then and then just start to spray it up like that. This is a just do it a couple of times. I always tend to do it two or three squirts. And I think if you go too long with it. I'm just going to pause it for one second. Swap. I don't know, I'll be able to swap hands doing it as it is, and then and then do the other side like that. See, as you can see, always a good idea to put the cement on the, the not cement. Sorry, what am I talking about? The paper because I, I I'm <laughs> my left hand's not as good. But that, that, that cement that I've just put on there, the cement, the, the, the actual cement, uh, put a small piece of fire cement on there and then, and then, and then let it dry, let it dry and then put some spray on afterwards. And what will happen is that spray is a, is a, is a matte back, a black finish. This is the stuff I use. I love this stuff. You can get it at, uh, where is it? Where is it? Is it a home base? I think it's about... Eight eight pound a, like a can. It is. It's just great. It's really easy. You can switch it off and not. You know, it's got all them twists, things on there. But this is great. This is a matte black finish stove paint. So as you can see, it's already drying. Where it'll blend in with it. But look at the difference of that. Look at that. Now that's how how everybody who fits stoves or repairs uh, these pipes. That's how it should be done. Don't put it on too thick. And then and then that'll be it. It won't come out again. 